Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take a problem that is going to be tricky to solve. Here we have 5 times radical x minus 1 minus radical x plus 7 equals to 3 times x minus 4 and we need to find the values that we can have for x to satisfy this equation. Take your time, try to solve this problem, and I'm going to see you in a bit. To solve this problem, I'm going to start with a replacement, but how can I we find this replacement? Let's take a look at what values we have inside this equation. We have this radical x minus 1, we have radical x plus 7, and we have 3x minus 4. I'm going to start with changing 3x minus 4 to something based on x minus 1. It's easy to see that I can rewrite 3x minus 4 as 3 times x minus 1 minus 1. Now I only have x minus 1 and x plus 7. Between these two, I'm going to use x plus 3 as a new variable like k. The reason that I'm going to do this is if I use x plus 3 as k, then x minus 1 is going to be k minus 4 and x plus 7 is going to be k plus 4. So I'm going to end up with an equation that has k minus 4 and k plus 4, which is a little bit more simple to solve. Let's take it from here and see how we are going to continue solving this problem. I have 5 times radical x minus 1 minus radical x plus 7 equals to 3x minus 4. We saw that instead of using these values, we are going to use k minus 4 and k plus 4. So I have 5 times radical k minus 4 minus radical k plus 4 equals to 3 times k minus 4 minus 1. Now I'm going to use another replacement. As you can see, I used m for radical k minus 4 and n for radical k plus 4. You are going to realize what's the reason that I'm going to continue this way. But first, let's simplify the equation based on m and n. We have 5 times m minus n equals to 3 times m squared minus 1. In this equation, I have m and n, and that's the only equation that I have. Obviously, in the previous type of equation, I had k as the only unknown variable, and I had one equation. So there is something wrong here. What's wrong here? why I change an equation with just one variable to another equation with two variables. I think you can verify that while I use m and n as independent variables, they are not independent at all. You can see that m is defined based on k and n is also defined based on k so they are dependent how we are going to use this dependency let's see that basically i'm going to say i have m and n and if i take power of two of both equations i'm going to end up with k minus 4 equals to m squared and k plus 4 equals to n squared now if you write n squared minus m squared you can remove k and at the end you have n squared minus m squared equals to 8. so now i have a new equation i have two variables n and m and i have two equations obviously it's possible to solve them but solving this type of equation can be tricky so let's see how we are going to handle this Let's go back to what we found. We found that 5m minus n equals to 3m squared minus 1. That's what we had. 
I'm going to rearrange to find n based on m. It's easy to see that n can be written as 5m minus 3m squared plus 5. On the other hand, in the second equation, we saw that n squared minus m squared is 8. Instead of n, now I'm going to use 5m minus 3m squared plus 5. And then I'm going to just simplify. If you take your time, try to simplify this equation, you are going to see that I will end up with an equation that has degree 4. Now I have an equation with degree 4 and there is no obvious way to solve this. But first, we note that 9 minus 30 is going to be negative 21 plus 18 is going to be negative 3 plus 10 is going to be 7 minus 7 is going to be 0. So if you add the coefficients of this equation, you can see that we are going to end up with 0, which basically means that m equal to 1 is one of the roots of this equation. So let's take it from here. If you use line division to, div to divide the equation that you have with degree 4 by m minus 1, you can see that we are going to end up with 9m cubed minus 21m squared minus 3m plus 7. Now we need to find how to solve the equation that we have with degree 3. To do that, it's kind of easy. Basically, we have 9m cubed minus 21m squared. I'm going to take out 3m squared and then I will have 3m minus 7, which is basically exactly what I have in the second part of this equation. So 3m minus 7 is one of the roots and then 3m squared minus 1 is another root. I will end up with m equals to 1 m squared equals to 1 over 3 and m equals to 7 over 3. Now I have m and I need to find k and then x. First of all, remember m equals to radical k minus 4. So m squared plus 4 is k. We already have values for m. k is going to be 5, 13 over 3 or 85 over 9. The other thing that we used was x plus 3 equals to k. So here we are going to find values of x 2, 4 over 3, and 58 over 9. Now the question is, can we say all these values are valid or some of them can be invalid? To verify that, we have to put x in the original equation. Let's just start with x equals to 2. So radical x minus 1 is going to be radical 1. Radical x plus 7 is going to be radical 9. And then 3x minus 4 is going to be 2. You can see that 5 times radical 1 minus radical 9 is going to be 5 minus 3 or 2, which is correct. So here we are good to go. For x equals to 4 over 3, x minus 1 is going to be 1 over 3 and x plus 7 is going to be 25 over 3. Replacing them and using the radical version, we are going to see that we have 5 radical 1 over 3 minus radical 25 over 3 equals to 3 times 4 over 3 minus 4. Let's focus on the right hand side. 3 times 4 over 3 is going to be 4 and then 4 minus 4 is going to be 0. So we need to prove that the left hand side is also 0. To do that, I have radical 25 over 3. If you take out radical 25, it's going to be 5 times radical 1 over 3 and you can see that it's indeed 0. So this case is also valid and we are good to go here too. For the last case, when we have 58 over 9, if you put values, you can see that it's not possible to satisfy the equation and that's an invalid case. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, 
and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQLT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.